Now, chemotherapy for cancer treatment can be a gruelling experience, something that takes its toll both physically and mentally. But now a running group in Brighton is going from strength to strength because they're actively encouraging cancer survivors to get involved. It's estimated that half of everybody born after 1960 will eventually be diagnosed with some form of cancer, and there are currently two and a half million people affected. But it's no longer a death sentence. 50% of those diagnosed now live for at least another decade. For tonight's special report, Juliet Parkins been to meet Jane Wilkes, who's had six sessions of chemo and says it's sport that's helping her to cope. As you can tell, the treatment does affect your lungs, which is why I'm so breathless. But they are such a support, such an inspiration. Everything about them just makes you want to get out there and run. All the runners in this group have lived with cancer. Some are still undergoing treatment. I've just had my fourth chemotherapy of six, so a bit wiped out, but um, yeah. Getting there, it's great, great running with the girls. It's great being outside in the fresh air and getting your blood moving feels fab. So yeah, it's good, I'm feeling good. They started running with the Brighter Outlook programme run by Albion in the community. It's designed to help those with and after cancer get back into exercise. The team's ultimate goal was achieved in April, the Brighton Marathon 10K. To see their progress over the weeks and see how they actually were so elated when they could do something that they really didn't believe they could do and then to have achieved their target, which was the 10K, it's just phenomenal. Now the group's meeting every week, led by Jane Wilkes, a marathon runner who was diagnosed with breast cancer last October. Six chemos in and it was a struggle. It was a real struggle to come out on a Monday and actually put one foot in front of the other. I get very tired, I have to sleep a lot, but it's helped me beyond measure. I can't stress how how much running has helped me get through this and I, I literally don't know what I would have done without it. It's just a fantastic group of women and we've all been through the same thing and we're just there for each other now. I feel I've made a group of friends as well and so the running with Jane, it's keeping me going and it's an inspiring group to be in. With new members starting today, it's hoped the group will continue to help others on the road to recovery. Juliet Parkin, BBC Southeast Today, Brighton.